Malcolm family to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. Thank Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video podcast with your f- friends. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you do this because we want others to know that we're here. Help make this video go viral by posting it on your Facebook page, your Instagram page, and your Twitter page. This video podcast is available in three forms. Audio, video, and as a written text in order for us to reach our audience. In order to follow along with my presentation, I strongly recommend everyone on my Facebook friends list to please exchange emails with me so that I can email you everything I do online. Also, I would like for my listeners to follow me on my Medium page. This is where I post my actual speech. I also provide my sources under show and prove. I recommend that you watch the video clips I provide to fully understand what's happening in America. I use this platform to interact with everyone on my friends list and everyone in my social groups by giving black business owners free airtime to promote their products and services. I give people in the faith community an opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and ordinary law-abiding citizens an opportunity to share their special talents and skills to my listeners from around the globe. After the show, I offer my guest speakers an incentive by teaching them how to create their own podcast and YouTube channel to help them earn extra revenue during COVID-19. I also assist people on my friends list with creating basic websites, finding college scholarships and grants, housing and legal services all for free. I would like to personally invite everyone on my friends list and everyone in my social groups to our upcoming Facebook Live event entitled Healing from Willie Lynch for Diaspora and Healing from Colonized Mind- Mindset for Continental Africans, Saturday, August 27th at 2 p.m. through 4 p.m. American Central Time, 3 p.m. Canada Time, 8 p.m. West Africa Time, 8 p.m. UK Time, 9 p.m. South Africa Time, 10 p.m. East Africa Time. If you would like to be on my panel, just send me a message to my Facebook inbox for additional information. If you are unable to participate, then please share my Facebook Live event with your friends and leave a public comment about the topic on my my YouTube page and on my Facebook page. This will help get the ball rolling. I don't plan on doing this another 30 years. My film project is my last attempt to try to do something positive for my racial group in America. The reason why we are hosting these monthly virtual conferences is to encourage our listeners from around the globe to support our film project. The the proceeds from the film will put me in a better position financially to hire qualified black middle class professionals, buy office, office equipment, and purchase property for our Christian business, Gurkai of Chicago, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. Eventually, we will launch our African and Caribbean tours so that we can reconnect the diaspora with continental Africans from my African group, Grikai of Africa. We aim to set up chapters in 10 African nations so that we can host international trade among our people. This will be a win-win for our people who are trapped in American ghettos because we can sell our films, artwork, and music to our brothers and sisters on the continent. In contrast, I will bring the best of the diaspora with me during our African trip to meet African entrepreneurs who will sell their products like beauty supplies, artwork, food, etc. This will also help improve the African economy because black Americans as a collective have $1 trillion spending power. I want to produce things like films and black businesses. I don't want to be online begging 
for me, I want to exchange something in value. My thing is, if I am going to ask for something, then I am going to have a product or service behind it. I need everyone on my friends list and everyone in my social groups to please donate to our film project because out of 1,585 people, only three people on my Facebook page have donated to our film project. And that's not cool and that's not fair. I'm using GoFundMe as a crowdfunding source so that everyone knows exactly where the funds are going towards. Once we reach 200000 then we will work on doing the movie trailer. Our goal is to raise 500000 in order to make a quality black empowerment film based on my revised book, quote, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, Second Edition. The title of the film is Hood Liberator, Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lynch Begins. The sequel, African Liberator, Battle Against the Colonized Mindset, will be made in South Africa. Without support from the black grassroots and the global African family, then I am unable to make my film and do my job. The ball is in their hand. Instructions on how to participate on the show. First, watch my video podcast. This is called Side A. After I finish my presentation, then I will open up the phone lines through Facebook Messenger. This is called Side B. You can interact with me in real time either by voice call by clicking on the phone icon or by video call by clicking on the camera icon. Today, today's topic of discussion is as follows. Urban terrorists is harming black businesses and black people in Atlanta. Checking off code black immigrants and exposing scams on Facebook. Our first topic, urban terrorists is harming black businesses and black people in Atlanta. Atlanta used to be the place where you could reinvent yourself. Today, the amount of children getting killed in Atlanta along is very high. I found a video clip on Fox 5 Atlanta entitled Bullets removed from toddler's head. Second child was inside car shot up at Atlanta traffic light. Family says, um, unquote, my Christian friends from around the globe, please pray for this toddler who was a victim of senseless violence. I want please watch the full video. Just go to my medium transcript and scroll down to show and prove. We have a solution. We know what to do, but a majority of us don't have the mindset to do it. It boils down to accountability. I'm fighting to get Gracayo Chicago up and running so that we can turn my ideas into action. Our black youth needs it. We need to separate from these degenerates and off-code Negroes. A majority of um, okay, a majority of us don't have the maturity to analyze our situation. That's why we need this film project fully funded and made. For example, how can we fix the issues in the black community when we have our own people fighting against us? We, If we knew being a single, single mother hurts the black community, then why single black women continue to have children? We know... Using street drugs destroys the black family. Then why we continue to use street drugs? In Gracayo, Chicago, we will promote black marriages and promote B, black economic empowerment. We can't turn a degenerate into a decent law-abiding citizen because, because they like their lifestyle being a thug and, hardened, and a hardened criminal. We want to focus on like-minded black people who want more out of life. I don't want to see my members living in an urban war zone. Our goal is to give our members and students options. That's why we will host African and Caribbean tours so that we can purchase property in those places 
for our members to consider raising their families. As long as you live, as long as you have poverty and inequality, then you will always have crime. Black people are getting the wake-up call from the financial elites who want to muscle their their way into the black community. First, it was Turkey Turkey League Hut. The next thing, you know, a full-scale assault on black businesses. When the Italian Mafia was doing their dirt in New York and in Chicago, the financial elites did, did not close down white businesses. I have a video clip on my medium transcript under show and prove from Fox 5, Atlanta, entitled, quote, Atlanta seeks to set up efforts to curve nuisance nightclubs, unquote. First, we, we heard about Atlanta City Council going after Buckhead, and now they're going after black businesses' owners. When black people got a hold of Atlanta, we turned it into something successful. We built Atlanta into what it is today, black entertainment. According to the video clip, quote, Killer Mike, 2 Chain, Ma Magic City owner, criticized Atlantic leaders for law to combat nightclub crime, unquote. According to the video, the sports stadium and the Lin Linux Mall owned by white people will be exempt from the public nuisance law. What's going on here is white owners are catering to black customers. Up in New York City, you have a bunch of nightclubs owned by non-black catering to black customers. Black people are the pioneer of these industries in these major cities. The financial elite's aim is to undermine us at every cost. Once we start building things, they plot to undermine it. Our clubs and ventures at the grassroots level is our piece of the economy. I think that what are the solutions argument is disingenuous because of people like Martin Luther King Jr., Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Amos Wilson, John Henry Clark, and Dr. Clark Anderson, just to name a few. You had all of these black leaders who came before us and who have written books and have given us solutions, yet black America didn't listen. Now I'm on the scene and I offer something that no black leader has and that is a solution to solve all of our social problems in America if given the chance. Yet for 30 years black America has ignored my vision and plan. This is why I am reaching out to the global African family and black immigrants in America to help fund our film project so that I can do my job. Ice Cube said the same thing I said 20 years ago. That was, we should leverage our vote with both political parties and see who will offer the best option. The solutions are out there, but black people as a collective don't want solutions as a collective because of this Willie Lynch mentality among our racial group. Just look at how many stop the violence rallies and round tables there are across the United States each year. Truth be told, black America want to remain in a constant state of victimhood. The easiest solution is for black people to purchase my revised book and read my story. I offer a 21st century solution on a domestic front for the diaspora and on an international front for continental Africans. Please leave a public comment on my Facebook page and on my YouTube page about the topic. Most of all, share this podcast with your friends. This will help get the ball rolling. Our second topic. Second, off-cold black immigrants. I found an article from The Guardian entitled uh, Elysia Banks slam Nigerian owner for the shade room for not highlighting Nigerian issues, unquote. Azealia Banks has been calling out Angelica Lowandu no, no for her dissing of black Americans. A lot of black 
immigrants come to America, create gossip sites like Media Takeout and The Shade Room, they only focus on Pookie and Ray Ray's from the African American community, but they don't focus on the, the African version of Pookie and Ray Ray's. Angelica Nwandu never exposed the slave queens in Nigeria. We just want her to be fair in discussing all of the ratchet behavior on, on both sides, black America side and the Nigerian side. According to the article, Alicia Banks talked about how the Angelica Nwandu is obsessed with um, degrading black Americans instead of bringing light to issues like SARS and Boko Haram, which plagued her, her country. The SARS protest was about police units shaking down its citizens for money. I remember seeing a video of many students being fired upon by their own military. In contrast, Boko Haram is an Islamic terrorist group in Nigeria. Nigeria does not make any weapons. They are getting support from Western nations. In Nigeria, they have two major factions, Christianity and Islam. There's a lot of corruption with their politicians and, and government. As a result, the people are suffering. Angelica Nwandu should be using her platform to call out those corrupt politicians in Nigeria. This is why people like Tariq Nashi go in on black immigrants from Africa and the Caribbean. Over here, I want to unite black immigrants in America, specifically specifically in Chicago, who don't mind working with black black Americans. Again, we are going to screen everyone at the front door. We want to see their paperwork, meaning we will have to they will have to attend our mandatory orientation, pass our criminal background checks, sign the the community pledge, and submit their thumbprint so that we can keep tabs on who's doing what within the business. We will offer a second chance program for ex-offenders, for nonviolent crimes, former gang members, and homeless individuals within our community. We will weed out off-code Negroes, urban terrorists, con artists, pedophiles, and active gang members. We will raise the standard or the bar in black America. There will be a consequence for anyone who tries to undermine our business. Anyone who tries to change our agenda will get two warning, warnings. That person or persons will be placed on, on our Judas list along with their name, photo, and address as a way to publicly humil humiliate them. What's happening with a lot of these young younger black immigrants who come to America instead of focusing on obtaining their educational goals and building up their capital, many of them become comfortable living in the West and disregard what Omar Gaddafi said. He instructed his uh, citizens from Libya to travel to the West, meaning Canada, Europe, or the United States of America, and obtain a quality education and bring those skills back to build up Libya. This is why China, Arab nations, India, and Western powers are flooding Africa because Africa's best and brightest are not returning back to, to Africa. While these non-black groups are buying up property and building businesses across Africa. If we lose Africa, then we lose everything. It's my hope that people in my African group, Gurkai of Africa, would encourage their family members and friends who live abroad in such places as Canada, Europe, and the United States of America to support our film project. Purchase my revised book and send me a friend request on Facebook, including their email address so that I can begin moving our film project to the next level, fully funded and made. I don't want to waste another 30 years reaching out to Black America online and in real life. I want to get this Christian business established in Chicago first before I cut and run to Africa.
I want to make sure that I am able to sustain myself and bring tangibles to my members in my African group. I don't operate like the next black man. I have my own style and I act accordingly. My revised book is the foundation of my Christian business, Gurkai of Chicago. Please leave a public comment on my Facebook page and on my YouTube page about the topic. Most of all, share this podcast with your friends. This will help get the ball rolling. Our third topic, exposing scams on Facebook. Social media scams has become a big problem, and I don't want none of our listeners to become a victim. I found an article entitled, quote, Top Facebook Scams of 2022 and How to Avoid Them, unquote. I am not going to read the whole article. You can find it on my Medium transcript under Show and Prove. In a nutshell, these are the top Facebook scams they mention. Phishing scams. Emails or direct messages with sketchy links that download malware or capture login credentials on spoof websites. Two. Romance scams, friend requests and direct messages that attempt to create a romantic interest with the goal to steal money from the victim. 3. You won scams, claims designed to obtain personal information or money from the victim. 4. Shopping scams, selling counterfeit goods under a fraud brand account or selling nothing at all using fake accounts. Five, charity scams, creating fake charities to get donations during times of disasters. Six, Facebook quiz and games designed to elicit personal information in the answers, then hacking accounts with it. Seven, fake friend requests, either from people you don't know or people you've already friends with clone accounts. Please leave a public comment on my Facebook page and on my YouTube page about the topic. Most of all, share this podcast with your friends. This will help get the ball rolling. Um, thank you all for listening to um, my p- presentation for uh, this uh, afternoon. Um, again, I'm going to keep doing my best to um, find different you know, uh, topics that I think is relevant and try to apply it to um, using a black perspective and applying it uh, on our um, podcast in order to help raise um, funds for our film project. Um, Again, this is very frustrating. It is for real. But um, somebody has has to do this. And um, again, I want to be able to encourage our youth those of you that's uh, 18 through 35, this organization is for you. But the thing is, we have to build it. I wrote it down in my revised book, but unfortunately I was unable to reach my uh, generation because I'm from Generation X. And um, it's going to get worse for black people here in America. I'm going to discuss this. Uh, a little further um, during our uh, virtual conference. So I'm not going to go into detail about that right now. But I'm going to open up the phone lines for about 15 minutes. If I don't hear from anyone, then we're going to call um, call it a day. Again, um, I'm just doing the best that I can to get this thing popping. Because once we get this film project uh, fully funded and made... And proceeds start um, coming in. And I'm in a better position financially to hire uh, our qualified black middle class professionals to help me run this organization. I guarantee you, mark my words, everybody in Chicago pretty much is going to want to be a part of this organization. Because it's going to be very powerful. But again, I mean, this is the hard part. This is the very hard part. And um, uh, unfortunately, a lot of our people are, you know, full of Willie Lynch. And we got to heal from that. If we don't heal from that, this mess is going to continue. And it's going to get worse for black people. And 
uh, unfortunately, the black youth are going to end up going through the same drama that I went through. The buck stops here. So, with that being said, phone lines are now open. 347-838-1111.